What's going on guys? Welcome, welcome to another Sword live stream. We got Dark Lord Zelric in the chat. We got J Spot J in the house, Russ Beard, Patrice Marie, Smurve, and Philibo. How you guys doing tonight? He's like money. <laughs> Felix Lavale, how you doing, bud? Welcome to it, guys. My goodness, my goodness. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Doing great, doing great, man. Not much. Just uh, want to do some Valheim live stream, man. I was uh, playing around on the um, on the uh, Valheim wiki uh, yesterday and came across this really awesome world seed that had uh, all the biomes and four of the main bosses on the same island that you start on where you spawn in. So I want, I'm gonna. Uh, be gathering resources and uh, setting up a new base in single player today, but definitely, definitely looking forward to hanging out with you guys. It has been a minute since we've been live on the Sword Channel, and uh, it's been a nice little break, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, I missed you guys tremendously. It's live stream for you in a long time. I know, Smurf, it's been a minute. I don't think I've streamed maybe twice in a month. Truth Mechanic, how's it going? And seriously, he's gaming. How you doing, guys? Kane the one. Welcome to it, buddy. Good to see y'all, guys. Heck yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, get Valheim up and running. Cool, cool. Looks like a Twitch went live. Nice. The Robo Ninja, how's it going, man? Is it me? But sword looks red. It could be my spray on tan. Ah, heck yeah, Smurf. Missed you terribly, man. I have uh, definitely been missing you guys. It's been an interesting, uh, it's been an interesting month. Um, I have uh, got a lot done, um, sorted out in real life, and uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a really, been a really crazy month. But uh, let's see, let me see if I can fix this uh, camera. See if I can get a. Get my spray on tan down a little bit. I don't know if that's too much. I think that's like about 3,400. Alright. Good. That better? Cool, cool. Welcome to it, guys. Welcome, welcome. Alright. We got that sorted. Let's uh, make sure my display capture is working. What is this? Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. That's why. All right, let's go up to the... And that needs to go. Let's go ahead and leave that. Nice. All right, cool. This is Valheim, guys. Storm Norman, dude, welcome back to the Noob Nation, buddy. Thank you for your channel membership, buddy. Guys, 07, Storm Norman in the chat, my friend. Good gracious, buddy. Much appreciated, dude. Heck yeah. Let's see if Cloud wakes up. Make it blue. Call you Smurf. Heck yeah, Robo Ninja. Or Avatar. Or the Avatar movie. Yeah. There he goes. Nice. Cloud still works, man. I figured he, as long as it's been since I streamed, he put on a little age and uh, couldn't swing that sword anymore. 
Heck yeah, Storm. Dude, thank you for the channel member, but channel membership. Let me go ahead and uh, swing back over here to this this stream or this screen real quick. Um, oh, my. Let me uh, fix this. Holy smokes. That is an issue. Let's see. We're going to do alt and drag her over here. About there. Nice. Very nice. Now, it is behind my game screen, so I can't pull it up. But let's see. Yep, it's behind a game screen. Okay. I'll have you added for the next stream, Storm Norman. Much appreciated, bud. Nice, nice, nice. Been playing the heck out of this game. Glad to see you back from the break, dude. I'm telling you, man. I, 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 I'm not going to apologize for being away because this is what happened, guys. I've been doing YouTube. I've been doing YouTube coming up on two years, guys. And uh, I've dedicated quite a bit of my real life free time to it and I was struggling with it and I quit, wasn't quite sure what I was struggling with um, throughout November and December um, but just something seemed off I wasn't getting the joy and the um, wasn't getting the joy and fulfillment out of it that I was getting before oh no no worries, Storm. Hey, buddy. I appreciate I appreciate it, bud. Much appreciated. What's up, Punisher? How you doing? But to get back to what I was saying, um, I spent a lot of time through November and December was just having... I was doing it, but it felt like I was just going through the motions. And it read across on the stream. I know you guys noticed it. And it... it, it reflected in in my my uh, my stream numbers and my stream productivity and another issue oh man that sucks dude but man much appreciated you uh, re-upping bud always always appreciated but um but yeah i just like i i was like i need to take a break from it um recenter myself um and get my head on straight uh, before I come back to it. And I spent a lot of time just playing video games. Um, you guys have seen, if you guys been in the Discord, and you normally notice we're usually got a group going, and everybody's welcome to join that. You know, you guys are welcome to come in and hang out, talk with us, uh, you know, play with us if you want to, uh, whatnot. But, uh, you know, it's just been fun. Um, and it was one of them things that, uh, it was one of the things that, you know, I've been doing YouTube so long and so regularly and basically the days I have time, the days I had time to stream or the days I had free time were the days I was streaming and the days I wasn't streaming was the days I was working really late or had family obligations or something. And, and you know, I, I was like, I need to get back to just enjoying video games. And that's what this break was. Uh, was me getting back to center um, and just enjoying playing video games. And just, you know, no no obligations, no I need to make thumbnails or I need to, I, I'm supposed to be live in a little bit or, or just rush, rush, rush type scenario. And uh, it, it's been real nice, but I, I, I'm... This is, this is a definitely from the heart. I missed you guys so bad, and I wanted to stream so bad, but I knew if I tried to rush it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gotten like my mind back centered on what I was doing and focusing. So, um, I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys hanging out and sticking. Whoa, Smurf! Happy Easter, my friend. Enjoy the game. Enjoy streaming for us. Let's get the party started. Whoop, dude, Smurf. Guys, 07 Smurf in the chat. Holy smokes for that $20 super chat, my friend. 
What is up, KJPC Gaming? How you doing, dear? Heck yeah, Cloud. Swing that sword. Swing that sword for, sir, for Smurf. What's up, Pidge? How you doing, friend? Well, listen, guys. I don't know if you guys seen the post on, um... I don't know if you guys seen the post on, um... Let's see if I got it here somewhere. Pictures. There we go. I don't know if you guys seen this on, um... On the Discord, I posted up in general chat. It could have got skipped up or moved, or, you know, passed up. But the reason I jumped back over here to the uh, cam scene, uh, instead of getting on in with the game, is because my cam scene has all you awesome channel members. You guys don't know how much that means to me. That you guys stuck with your with your channel membership pledges and throughout this last month where there was almost no content for a month. Um, that, guys, means the world to me. Um, you guys have uh, always, always been just champions for the Sword Nation with with your with your support um now granted this ain't no arm bending conversation talking about channel membership stuff this is me expressing my gratitude to those of you that are uh, able to to support the channel through your membership um and through through your support guys through your channel membership support through your donations guys Y'all have made that possible. I'll be on vacation in two weeks. Uh, when I go on vacation, we're going to start putting this thing together. This is going to be the, uh, the, the, the PC that puts my PC to shame. Um, heck yeah, Pidge. Good to see you, buddy. Nice, nice. I moved in with my father, so now I have a look. Oh, man. What? That are you moving in to take care of him or are you moving in because you had to? And if you're moving in to take care of him, good on you, buddy, for looking after your father. If you moved in because you can, buddy. Holy smokes! Good God Storm Norman. Good gracious dude. Guys, oh seven Storm Norman, my god, guys. Sorry I missed that last go. Dude, thank you for the twenty dollar donation. My my god, guys. Holy cow. Guys, 07, that Storm Norman in the chat. Holy smokes. But, yeah. Yeah. I I have one piece that came in. Well, two pieces that came in today. Um, one just came in uh, earlier today. I think uh, FedEx just delivered the other one. <laughs> the wrong up my in-laws house but here's the motherboard for uh for this beast i am uh i am extremely extremely stoked to get this build going guys that thing's gonna have so much rgb in it that you'll be able to see it from space man but heck yeah guys that's that's through this PC build, guys, is reflective of the last year or better of you guys' channel donations and channel membership. Um, I can't thank you enough for making this happen. Um, I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you, for uh, for what you do and uh, you know and. and taking care of me i'm a pc a year now already want to build another i hear you dude hope you're beginning to feel better hugs for a speedy recovery heck yeah storm heck yeah buddy dude thank you so much man thank you so much all right well enough with the mushy stuff let's get into valheim guys all right let's see now 
I don't know if you guys have played Valheim. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, it's a PC early access game. They're still updating. As you can see, I mean, it, you know, the 24th of this month, the 17th of this month, the 16th, the 15th, the 12th. It's gotten updates, and these are not the mass, the, the big update. There's the one called Home and Hearth that's coming uh, that they're working on now, but th this has been a, a a really intriguing game for me for about three or four weeks now. Uh, I'm better, but still no sense of taste. Sucks because I love my single mom. Oh, brutal, dude. Man, that's rough. Or you want to build another? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little advice, guys. If you need to upgrade your CPU or, or GPU, I would not build one this year. I am I'm not buying a graphics card for that rig. I'm taking the 2080 Ti out of the my current rig and just moving it over to the new rig. Uh, the the CPU is a is a 30 3950 from from last gen. So. Yeah, cause either either you're gonna pay scalper prices or you're gonna be hitting the F5 button on their site for like three weeks. I thought the donations were going to Star Citizenships. I know, right? It's Punisher. <laughs> no, uh, all my Star Citizenships uh, all come out of pocket. So, uh, yeah, I stuff like the stuff like in-game stuff or especially Star Citizen will pledge money. Um, I don't use. Uh, from the from my YouTube account, um, YouTube account generally is just a pool for like nice games, Lord, dude. Thank you for the ten. What is HRK? Um, I know it's something crowns. Uh, but heck yeah, dude. Thank you for your donation, man. Not much, but every helps. Thing. Oh, dude, innies, man, dude. That's much appreciated, buddy. Keep safe, sword. Heck yeah, Games Lord. Guys, 07 Games Lord in the chat. What's up, Cope? How you doing, buddy? Uh, the difference isn't that big. Keeping my 2080 a few more years. A few more. Yeah, heck yes, Deso. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, once the 3080s or the 3080 Ti or the 3090 uh, start seeing more stock and they come back down the MSRP, I'm planning on buying one and upgrading it. Um, same with the uh, the fifty nine hundred or the fifty nine fifty. Nice, heck yeah, coat. I bet you gonna make Punisher a happy guy. What is up, Fire Knight? How you doing, friend? Welcome to it, guys. Heck yeah, good grief! I've been going on and on and on, guys. Welcome to it. Glad to have you all. Let's get in game. So basically, I was playing around on Google, looking around at you know. Uh, Valheim information chat stuff like that. I've come across the wiki, and in the wiki they had a game uh, game seed, which is this one right here. And I got it linked down. I got it uh, topped out in the description below. If you guys want to play on this on single player or set up something on on this uh, seed, this is an awesome seed, guys. It has every biome for resources on the starting island and four. Count them. Four of the five world bosses are on this island. You don't have to. You don't have to sail. Not one bit. Well, just a little bit to get to the. Uh, I think it's the second boss. Maybe. Yeah, I think because a uh, modder and modder bone mass and I think that elder or elder or the deer is on this one. All right. So before we get started, let's grab something to eat. So I haven't eaten. And I logged out right at a new day, so we're good to go. So what I did is I jumped over onto my main save. Uh, these are the resources I picked up. I did carry over uh, 15 of each metal just to get me started out. Um, and I do got all my uh, OP uh, black metal armor and stuff. So I'm looking forward to this, guys. Ooh, I carried over some black metal from you the other day. I'll take that back. Cool, cool. Very nice. All right, and I brought some food over. So we're set to go farm some resources guys but i'm gonna tell you this my goodness see where i've done explored that's the uh, okay that's the uh first boss so here's the uh spawn point and then you got this whole island right here that you and it's like it's a little bit bigger than this but there's a trader 
down here on this end. Where's the merchant sword on the island? Yeah, the merchant's on the island. Uh, sorry for not seeing you. <laughs> nice, nice. That was a bit of a to comment. Nice. Uh, good to see you back. Heck yeah, Fire Knight. Glad to have you guys in the chat, man. I've been missing y'all. Trace investment at this time. Unless perhaps you, you can sell your 2080 Ti for a thousand or so. Oh, no. Nah, I'm waiting until that thing goes back down to uh, MSRP. It eventually will. Either... Here, the, now with the malware starting to simmer down, vaccinations going out. Um, what's up, Sam? Man, how you doing? I'm thinking because right now, um, uh, TMC, THMC, something like that. The the main company that, that Nvidia buys their silicon from is running a hundred percent, so they're back up to full production. It's just a matter of supply and demand finally leveling off of one another. So it's going to be a while. I'm looking at probably. I'm, I'm speculating six more months um, that anybody that's going to buy one for mining is going to have one already and that eventually eventually it's going to taper off and the stock's going to be more readily available and then we'll be able to we'll be able to buy some stuff closer to MSRP and scalpers dirty dirty scalpers will get burnt and stuck with like a hundred of them cross your fingers I don't like scalpers guys they make life hard but we got our black forest right here. And if we go this way, we'll come out and see our uh, the plains biome. Which is a very, very dangerous place, guys. I don't know if you guys play this, but man, most of the mods, like that little mosquito, can can kill you if you ain't paying attention with one shot. But his needles make some... Excellent, excellent arrows. Cool, cool. So it's going to be... When I'm in the planes bio, it's going to be struggle bus keeping up with chat because I'm going to have to read and read and look at the same time. But but these cloud berries are an ingredient for the uh, lox meat pie that uh, I've been crafting. But the goal of this uh, save is going to be is this area right here that I'm in, I'm going to set up a small... Um, well, moderate size uh, farm for uh, flax and barley because you can only grow those uh, items in on, on this biome. Plains is in-game, yeah. But yeah, directly that way, I believe, is the, uh, is the um, Plains World Boss, which is, uh, or the last World Boss, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. For now, anyway, until they add more to the game. They got some uh, locks floating around here somewhere. I don't want to get. I don't want to venture off too much because I'm gonna have to run back into the black forest and hide. But uh, there's generally a few locks floating around out here at the edge of the plains, and those make for some good uh, good source of uh, food and hides to make some really cool stuff. From the people that seem to be playing it, I'm assuming it's a fun game. Dude, I'm telling you what, it is like, it is a, uh, it is OCD, uh, crack to OCD players, man. I mean, you will get hooked. Eshmarel, Eshmarel's been cussing me for weeks. I got him, I got him hooked on it. Here we go. We got a lonely little furling there. Oh, crap. He's down. There's that black metal. Let's go get my... Ooh, cool, we got a mozzie trophy. Nice. That's what I mean about the mosquitoes. You, you, you gotta be really, really paying attention or you will be toast. I me mean, it looks like a mix of Monster Hunter and Minecraft. Yeah, to me, it, it's like a Viking uh, Minecraft. But it, it is extremely fun. Just the exploration factor of it is fun. The, uh, the survival sense of the game is really, really fun because even no matter how OP you get in the game with your equipment and your and your armor and stuff, you still you still run across uh, mobs that'll kill you. Like situations easily, like those two mosquitoes. If I didn't see them and got into it with another mob, 
Those guys could zero me out real quick. Yep, he got a shot on me. Alright, come here, Skeeter. Where you at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. There they are. Really? Come here. Come on, buddy. But yeah, everything takes stamina. So if you take a hit, or if you block a shot, or block a hit, it's going to drain your stamina. And if you drain your stamina down too much, you're just a free shot to them, and they can end you pretty quickly. Let's see, let's go on back to my uh, spawn bed and get started on harvesting. What's up, Cope? How you doing, buddy? Should be joining the modded MC server soon. I hear you, dude. Still completely hooked on Minecraft. I hear you, dude. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, man. I started a server yesterday with Valheim Plus. Very interesting. Oh, cool, dude. Nice, nice. Let's see, now we're back in the safety on catch up chat. We'll cut about 20 minutes ago. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it has been very interesting, buddy. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of game time, buddy. All right, so let's go ahead and start gathering resources, clearing off this hill. But my goal is to take the, take the top of this hill down. That base will get uh, taken out and then building a, uh, a moat slash support uh, defense wall and building a, a base in stone. But I need to get some, uh, clear off some area here to work with. So, so let's go ahead and break out the axe. Online server, if you're gonna jump in on heck, ever yeah, cool, cool. Always pick up your stumps, guys. Don't be a noob and leave your stumps laying. The black metal sword's awesome for taking down them small trees. Most of the time you got enough reach on your swing to take out the small tree all the small trees in the area. These guys definitely do not like you uh taking out their seat or taking out their uh trees. And that's what I mean about the stamina. Like I had run out of stamina right as he got to me and couldn't swing at him. I had to wait for it to build up. Alright, let's get my stump up. Can you carry me through the portals? Oh, you can. Oh, nice, dude. I like that. With the uh, yeah. Right now, that's a that's a interesting predicament. Not being able to carry uh, your uh, metals that you mine back through the portal. You have to travel them back on foot or by boat or cart or whatnot back to your uh, portal or back to your base. And I generally just log out. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I cheese it a little bit. I. Uh, I log back into my one of my single player saves and put it in a chest, then go back to base in the multiplayer and then log back into my single player. It seems like a lot of work, but it's much, much easier than trying to gather it and carry it yourself. Rest buff needed, yeah. Let's go drop off this load and uh and get my rest of buff back. Right. One of the biggest things about this game is learning to stay off that shift key. 
because that ship key will kill you quickly. I've been out here a few minutes. I got 30 grayling eyes already. I didn't think those burnt seeds was that big a deal until I started uh, using my cultivator to plant them. <laughs> I hear you, dude. All right, let's get here in my comfort level four and sit down a minute. Oh yeah. Which I could probably kill a couple, couple of uh, deer and uh, put a rug down and. Uh, Help the situation a little bit. Haven't cheesed it yet, but I'm close to it. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, man. That portal, that portal's rough, dude. Especially when you gotta travel like by boat to another island to get into the biome you need is really rough. <laughs> Bad smurf, yeah, man. Alright, cool, we got my buff back. Let's uh Let's grab a couple deer real quick. Get some hides. The hunting in this game is uh, extremely fun. This ox. Let's go find us a deer. Oh, there he is. And that's spooky. Got him. <laughs> These guys ain't really that easy to hit when they're running from you. <laughs> Sad thing is I knew he was going to be there. Cause I'd spooked him last night and waited on him to come back. Let's see what I pick up for. Okay, cool, cool. Now I do have the uh, settings turned down for the uh, graphics. If you turn this all the way up, you see all the extra grass. I'll leave it on like that for a while. You see all the extra grass that you got to see around. The game looks a lot more beautiful, but it makes gathering resources and hunting. Um, Alright, Phil. Buddy, have a great night. Sleep well, my friend. But it makes gathering uh, resources a lot, lots easier. Because you're able to see all your, like, your mushrooms and all of the dandelion, dandelions and lines and stuff like that. Makes gathering uh, much, much easier. Plus, it's easier on your frame rate. We also, we got the uh, mountain biome right behind us as well, guys. So, I, I found a really strategic place for this, uh, for this. Especially if you go up here. If you get up here on this end of the uh, plains biome, you'll have a swamp area as well. Hear him. He's trying to peg his direction. There he is. Where's his buddy get right there? Oh. oh. Let's go find my goods and get back and put down some uh, deer carpets or deer rugs. Oh! Nope. I guessed he was going that way. Missed him. Let's go grab a couple wolf pelts. I've seen that grass before. That's cool. 
I think I had my graphics turned down before I went up into the mountain biome. Now, wolves are a little different beast. You gotta really pay attention or you'll have three of them on you. I hate the swamp. He's always wet. Yeah, I know. Swamps suck, dude. The most useful resource is, made, is uh, found in the swamp, but is also the, the biggest pain in the butt. And, of course, there'd be a blizzard as soon as I hop up here. Now, the nice thing about the, uh, the mountain biome is they have these deposits of obsidian, which you can make obsidian arrows with feathers and wood. And they are uh, almost as strong as the needle arrows. And it's going to get dark before I get up here and can find a wolf. Oops, grab some food. Been up in the mountain too far yet, so nice little exploration journey here. There they are. Now, wolves, they'll attack you three times. And then you got a couple free shots on them. Picked up a wolf up there. Alright. Let's go get his buddy. Oh man, it's gonna get nighttime on me. Where does friend go? There he is. Oh. Sure, there ain't no more down here before I climb down off my rock here. Wolf pill, nice. I mean, you need to build a uh, rug, but see if we can't gather up four or five of them. Pick up a little bit of its obsidian while we're here. I meant to bring my wishbone with me so I can look for silver, but silver's one of them items, man. Once you get it, or you or you get your uh, your armor and your equipment built out of it, you really don't need it. <laughs> you start moving on into the black metal stuff and. That's how it played out for, for me. Ooh, lag. It yeah, definitely won't have to take the walk of shame with my uh, over to my uh, server character or my server world and grab uh, frost potions to. Ooh, here we go. Drake. Got him. Nice. Definitely won't have to go grab some uh grab some frost potions and have to climb back up this mountain in my skivvies. Oh cool, they got a cabin up here. Nice. Where'd that Drake go? There we go. There ain't no other mobs here. Uh oh. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Missed him.
Missed him twice. Holy smokes. Okay. Got him that time. Oh, wolves. Oh, nice. I parried him. Very nice. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Now my food. Where is that other Drake at? I hear him. He's screeching at something. Let's get here and check his cabin out and see if there's any goodies. Super sword too. Yeah. Somebody had a nice little build up here. Some fine wood furniture. Let's jump here and see what is going on with the chest here. Nice. Where is he at? I hear him chirping in the background. I ain't seen him yet. The mountain is not the place you want to be hanging out at night. That or the plains. There he is. Hiding in the trees. See if we can get a shot on him through the trees here. Okay, I'm on. Oh, there's two of them. One down. Miss. Got him. Very nice. Go off the side of the mountain. Yeah, there he is. Check for wolves. I also got werewolves on these mountains as well, guys. So be wary coming up here solo. Alright, let's start making that. Making tracks. We'll hang out up here for a minute. See what spawns back in. Sword play no mask on Twitch side. Ah, son of a gun. Yeah. I wonder if I can fix that from here. Watch something come zero me out while I'm at over here. See if I can sort that out. Edit. Game. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Page. Alright, cool. It's fixed. Thank you, Dark Lord. Whew. Uh, just got home. Had to go rescue the wife. She decided it was good. Back into it. Oh, no! Brutal Tragos. That sucks, dude. Man, you getting ready to head out on deployment as well, too? Man. It's not good, dude. Don't give her too hard a time because that's why they call them accidents, buddy. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure she didn't, uh, she didn't set out to go in the ramming speed. Just, just tell, just tell her, tell her she uh, gets reported for uh, for ramming, she'll get banned. <laughs> she get banned from driving her car in that parking lot. What's up, Beeble Bum? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to it. Appreciate it. Glad to have you lurking, my friend. MTG G and G. Is this the new PC? No, no, no. Uh, I won't have the new PC built until the end of the month. Well, second week of the month, or two weeks from now. 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it while I'm on vacation. Um, I'm actually not building it. The uh, Lee from uh, Cast Computers here in here in town uh, built my last rig for me, and um, I reached out to him about building building a new one, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna build it. So I'm gonna take him all my ooh wolves, nice. Let's grab some more locksmith pie real quick. Um, I'm gonna bring him all my parts uh, that Monday. Let him uh let him get it built all but the GPU, and then I'm gonna bring my rig over. Um, I'm gonna take my my current rig over and let him um. Sorry, guys. Let him uh, uh transfer all my data and transfer my data and uh and move my GPU over and update everything for me oh nice more dogs but you see how he knocks so much of my stamina down this is how you can get in trouble real quick in the in the mountains because i don't have any stamina potions on me so i need to uh i need to be quick because some other mob oh like them three wolves right there decide to uh get aggroed at me with my stamina this low it will be heck to pay. Oh man, we got a Drake and we got three wolves. Let's uh see if I can zero out the oh man I missed. That ain't good. Got one down. Two down. Four wolves. Nice. Quit wasting stamina sword. Let's go up the hill. I got enough HP to there we go. Nice. Whew. Sometimes it's better to s sacrifice your HP to keep from getting a, a undefended hit. I need to get off this mountain. That's what I need. Oh, man. He stopped right as I shot. And I nerfed the second shot. Got him with the third one. I'm going to be out of arrows if I don't hurry up. All right, so quit pushing deeper into the mountain. Get my stuff and get out of here. Oh, just heard the wolves. Let's get back up to this cabin. Now, did they see me? Nope, oh, good. Whew. Our penalty would be paying, or be paying having to drive my car while I'm on detachment and hers is in the shop. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Not mad, just glad no one's hurt. Awesome, dude. Glad to hear, man. Glad to hear. Need to replace the rear bumper. Oh, man. That sucks, but it's, yeah, I'm glad that everybody's all right, man. Uh, just got home. Cool, cool. Let's check. <laughs> yeah. I figured that would be her penalty. <laughs> nice. It's daytime again. And how many wolf hides I end up with? Twelve. That'll be enough for a rug. Let's uh, start making tracks back to my spawn, spawn base. Grab my goodies on the way down. I did not grab any obsidian, which is a tragedy. Let's see if we can remedy, 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 remedy that tragedy. If I can say it correctly. Lay off the shift key, lay off the shift key. So what I don't want to do is come up here and mess around and get entangled with a uh, stone golem. Because them guys are uh, still a little bit of... Uh, OP for my uh, solo. Oh, Look at there, some wolves. Let's waste the rest of my arrows. He's down. Where's his buddy at? His buddy's right down the hill there somewhere. There he is. He got a shot on him.
Love me some Droger bow. Or Droger pain. It adds an additional uh, poison attribute when uh, attacking enemies. Okay. Find obsidian. There we go. Do it by getting murdered. Uh oh, I'm not seeing any obsidian. Time I think I run across some, it's not obsidian. Look at those mountains. I have to go up in a higher elevation to get some, which is not what I was looking forward to doing. I think I'll stick with uh, needle arrows if I have to. I'm gonna run around here and find it, run across a group of wolves I didn't want to run on to. Eshmorel! Super Chat Fiend needs some mead. Happy Good Friday, Sword Nation. Welcome to it, Ash Morrell, man. Good seeing you, buddy. How you been? Or how you doing? Oh. Come on. Whew. Guys, 07 at Ashmore in the chat for that awesome $10 super chat donation, buddy. Much appreciated, my friend. There we go. I found some. That's all I needed. Ash super chat fiend to show up and the, and the obsidian starts spawning in. That is a stone golem. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Son of a gun. I don't have enough arrows to take this guy down, do I? stamina. Ah, oh, took a hit on that one. It will be time to retreat. Where did he go? There he is. Okay, I'm taking a long way around. I might have a chance here. Yep. He's got a lot more reach than I was expecting. Well, at least I got my food in. You don't die jumping off the hill. Where'd he go? Break the aggro him. That'll help. Matter arrows. Oh, I got these. Flint heads.
Got him. Whew. That about became a sticky situation, guys. Let's go up here and collect my uh, stone golem stuff. Stone and crystals. I have no clue what you use the crystals for. Alright, now, let's grab my obsidian and get the heck off this mountain. <laughs> another one and this is the reason I like the obsidian arrows because most of the time when you go up on the mountain bone it's a very abundant stone you'll find it you'll find it uh, around quite a bit and it don't take long to get a stack of it only bad thing about mining on the mountain you gotta be kind of careful not to go too crazy with your uh, stamina because generally when you use your last swing and run out of stamina is when a pack of wolves will attack you <laughs> nice. Much appreciated, guys. Let's toss out that stack of stone. Grab another stack of these. There's another cabin. Ooh. That's stone. I didn't need that. Drake somewhere. Let's find him before he sees me. Way too high. Got him. Where's the other one at? And super chat fiend again super chat fiend says oops <laughs> thank you buddy uh oh there are some wolves let's save stamina until I locate them nice. guys 07 that super chat fiend again thank you Ash Maria. much appreciated buddy you're an awesome 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 friend. Almost there. One more knock and I'll one more bit and I'll have fifty. Cool. So we're loaded up on obsidian. Let's go check out this cabin. And uh get back to base. Where'd that Drake at? There's the hound. Wolf. Let me pick him off. He's down good. Got him with one. Crap. Another stone golem, guys. I ain't got a drake to bail me out this time. I'm gonna shoot him all the way down the mountain. I see a wolf and I'm up against the rock. Crap. Give her where I had him last time. 
Hopefully, I won't aggro that. Nice, the uh, Drake sees him. Oh, we got another Drake here. Aggro the golem. You guys duke it out. I'm going down the hill. <laughs> oh my goodness, he knocked the wheels out of that Drake. He beat the wheels off that Drake. Holy smokes. Where's the wolves at? There he is. He's down. Cool. Now, we got a helper over here shooting at him. Oh no, I parried him. Nice. I'm gonna lose this fight. Get around the rock. Get around the rock. Whew. Build up some stamina. That's the, it just got real look on my face, guys. All right, come on, build up that stamina. Down, baby! That's right. You mess a sword and you paid the price. Just remember that. Tell all you golem buddies. Whew! Pray him with shield and swap pickaxe. Hit for two. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, let's get back. Let's get off the mountain. How about that? <laughs> let's see where I'm heading. I'm heading straight ahead. Off the mountain sword. Off the mountain. And we got pup. If I could hit him. Go. Cool. Let's roll. Yeah, I couldn't believe you. I parried him. That was pretty, pretty, pretty sick. Uh, let's get away from the. Ooh, here we go. Let's check this out. See if we can find a beehive. Nope. Let's get back to base. Put down some rugs. Increase my comfort level. My rested bonus. That is the wrong way. <laughs> two of them, man. That's two golems on the on the mountain. Whew. Well, I got my obsidian like I was looking for. I gotta find some arrows. Or I mean, some uh, feathers. Craft me up some more arrows, guys. Did all that without a drop of Red Bull since the start of the stream. Because I've been drinking Red Bull all day. I need more wings, guys.
Very nice. Grass out of my uh, grass out of my building. Put my disco board in. Carrying too much already. I was seeing your ass. Yeah, I know, right? I get sent out on a mission to a solar system that has two planets where I'm supposed to collect activated copper, and neither planet has it listed for activated copper. There's the target planet. Neither one. Oh, no. That's brutal, Patrice. Maybe bugged out on you. for level six I jumped up to two levels all right let's see what do we need here there we go it's a couple of this barbecue grill up Need to change this from Halo games to mine games. Oh no! <laughs> no grass allowed in bungalows. I know, right, dude? Yeah, grass is rough, man. So what new planet is this, Mr. Sword? I know. What's up, Frito? How you doing? Uh, when is the final release of the video game? I have no clue, buddy. They're still they're still working on updates and stuff. What? I tell you, there's a channel called uh, Fire Spark. Uh, does a really does a lot of good um, uh, Valheim news updates and stuff I've learned quite a bit from him cool cool all right there's the meat let's see what we got going on here we go stash some of these trophies and stuff nice right as it quit raining very nice
Cool. We got 15 arrows left. 15, uh. TBT, tribes versus tribes. Uh, I don't try PvP. Mm. I haven't gotten much into the PvP. I actually keep it uh, the settings off for mine, but I can imagine it can be fun. But I'm tell you what, man, these, if you ain't careful, some stuff's pretty OP. Alert mode, no worries, Ash. Go out to the coast, see if we can find a few birds, get us some feathers. sun comes up these uh seagulls will come in I wonder shot on him. Okay. What's up, Melvin Gordon? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, bud. My my server build near Castle Black, man, I could go out in the morning and pick up like 20 or 30 feathers easy because the uh, seagulls just, man, it looked like an Alfred Hitchcock movie the other day. Good and you doing good, man, doing good. Oh, we got a bee's nest. Nice. And I got stung. Ouch. Get out of tab, out of menu, get out of here. Get away from the bees for a minute till the poison goes away. Let's try and get a shot on this thing. Got him. Queen bee's probably on top. Yep. Cool. Now we can set beehives. And is that another fur? No, that's an yeah. Trying to conserve my arrows as I hunt the uh, seagulls so I can get enough feathers to make my obsidian arrows again. You get blackbirds in the uh, in the for in the uh, black forest, but it's hard to see them at night. All right, let's see what we got here.
There we go. A little clearing might have some. Whoa! No, I was that close to the planes. Hello. I am in the planes, okay. Pay attention to what biome I'm in. Find a few locks around here. There's a goblin. I'll see him. Let's hack my butt on back over here before I get zeroed out. What's up, crushed in box? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to it. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool, man. Good to see you. We got nine. That'll make a few. I think it takes. I got some in the chest already, so I might be able to make a stack of them with what I got. It's kind of hoping for a little bit better tur bird turnout. Plenty of resin up here. Let's grab some wood. Get to crafting. Overweight. Let's grab some needles. Where they at? There we go. Some needles and my feathers. Oh man, I have more feathers than that. Guess not. VIP420, how are you doing, dude? Long time no see, bud. All right, let's make some arrows. Ah, oh, I got wood arrows. What is up with my obsidian arrows? Ah, oh, I gotta upgrade my crafting table, that's why. Let's go dump some stuff. Put my wood back up for a minute. All right, so let's see. What do I need to craft a upgrade? Let's see, chopping block's going to be flint. I need 10 flint. Okay, 10 flint. Check. Let's see. I need deer hide leather. Flint. Cool. So I got, is that 10? 15? All right, so 25 flint. We got the bronze for the uh, days. Let's grab stone and iron, make a forge. No, 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 forge. We need a copper, wood, coal, stone. Cool. Not much, bud. Just chilling like a villain, playing a little bit of Valheim. A little uh, low key, low stress, chill Valheim game. Chameleon XXL. What's your settings and FPS? Uh, I got everything set to ultra, I think. Let me check. Hold on a second. Let me kill this Grayling in this piece. Alright, done. 
Now, let's see, let's go into settings. I got the graphics set to, I'm running a 2560 by 1440, uh, 144 hertz. Got it on full screen. Got everything on high and very high. Uh, let's see, I got the V-Sync turned off and the depth of field turned off. The depth of field will, um, will bring stuff into focus if you turn that off. If that's on, it is a uh, horribly, horribly uh, fuzzy in the back, yeah, in the distance. But, but yeah, that's what I'm running. Close menu, and I'm getting. Uh, if I'm not around anything I've built or train manipulated, I can get quite a bit of a frame rate. Let's get some haul or let's get some of these uh, hauls because uh, I need some leather straps for some of the upgrades. Two for one. Nope. Thought I was gonna get them both in one whack. That gives us an opportunity to go get some more, uh, more seagulls as well. So. Ooh, what do we got around this corner? Deer. Let's see what's in this building. Oh, yeah, it was a beehive I took out earlier. Do I still got my workbench here? Maybe not. No, no, no. I don't think I was here. Cool. Nice. Fair enough. I'm running a game on medium with RTX 2070 Super, and I got 40 to 50 FPS sometimes. Yeah, uh, man, when I get when I get on server where I've done like a really huge uh, a huge castle, my frames go to trash. I'm I'm lucky if I'm got 30 frames some days. A lot of it's the uh, train manipulation and how much uh, stuff's got to render. Definitely, it could definitely stand some optimization passes before it goes to, uh, before it releases. Look, you there right in front of me. Hello, birdie. If anyone looking for a good IPS monitor, one millisecond response, the one I have just dropped $70 on Amazon. Which one are you running, uh, uh, MTG? Sounds, sound like that, uh, LG, uh, Ultra Gear I got. Yeah, we're supposed to be picking up flint. Lots and lots of flint. You find tons of it down here. Oh, you see him jump rise up. Yeah, I'm trashed with this bow down here. I'm good with the sword. Man, that was embarrassing to miss that many shots. Flint. Let's see. I hope they'll optimize the game instead of focusing on content now. Yeah. Well, I think they're doing a little bit of both, uh, in my opinion. The last update, last update, we got a little bit of uh, gameplay, quality of life um, upgrades, but also they optimized, they made some stuff uh, render a bit better. So, so yeah, I, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied. I think. Uh, being an early release game, it's kind of like playing a kind of like playing an open alpha or open beta. You just gotta they're going to do stuff, and a lot of it is uh, a lot of the stuff they do, man. They'll add something, and they may have to walk it back or or re-optimize the game for for it because it uh it made stuff harder to render. Or, I, I deal with it was I play Star Citizen um, as well. And that's that's another one of them games you just gotta have a, a good measure of patience with. But if you don't, you'll be uh you'll get frazzled real quick. Oh, am I out of space? I am out of space. What are we gonna sacrifice? Let's get rid of the deer head. Grab my neck tails. Asus. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, man. What is up, Ballista Cola? How you doing, dude? Man, I heard you had an awesome raid the other day from uh, Zane. <laughs> Some Somebody added me in their tweet. Not much, man. Been working like crazy. Glad to see you playing this game. It's a fun one. Would love to see you play art. We should get together on a server. Awesome, dude. 
I have not tried Ark. I knew uh, Hyper that plays with us on uh, Valheim. He he plays Ark a lot with uh, Mary Lizzie and uh, Ark or Imperium. I think it's Ark. Um, to be fair, I, it was a it was a odd situation that uh, got me going to Valheim because I swore up and down I wasn't gonna play it, and then I got a uh, I got involved in it. <laughs> And it has been like OCD, uh, just nightmarishly OCD on everything. So I, I love it. I really do. I like I like grindy games. Conan, that's what it is. Okay, cool, Hyper. Thank you. Bountiful Flint, guys. This is one of these things, guys. The Flint is one of these things. It's like with Valheim, I found this early on because I played with, um, I hopped in with Cope and Tragos and um, and Hyperion and Captain, uh, Captain Pugwash early on. And it's like you get blueprints by picking up the resource. So like when you pick this flint up, you'll get blueprints for uh, craftable items that require flint. Well, until you pick the flint up or know to pick it up, uh, you don't get the blueprints and it doesn't really give you any kind of guidance uh, telling you what to, go what to go hunt down or search out for. So pretty much anything, anything you walk up on that uh that has a name to it all right here you walk up on this stone and the stone's gonna pop up be sure to pick it up uh especially if you're not sure if you've picked it up before it's like stuff like flint because i played quite a bit um before i ever picked up the first piece of flint and got the blueprints for uh the uh some of the items needed needed with the flint and it'll hinder your gameplay because like the first two upgrades for the uh Oh, no room in inventory. Get rid of him. Um, the first two upgrades uh, requires you to... Uh, let's see, grab that. Let's eat that. Just so we can get rid of one of them. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Toss. That one. Cool. cool. Um, but yeah, I played quite a bit before I ever got the uh, blueprints to get my first two uh, uh, workbench upgrades. And like I said, it's stuff like that that you know new players d aren't aware of because you don't think about it, like dandelions and and, uh, and thistle and stuff like that. You don't you don't think of the use for it until until somebody shows because you don't see the blueprints as unlocked or or even locked. You just they're just not visible to the to the crafting. And once you pick up the uh, item, it, it'll um. It'll give you the blueprint, and you can move forward with it. But yeah, that's the one thing is you got to be careful as a newer player to the game is make sure you pick up everything that has a name. Yeah, you promised fifty people will be watching me. I got two seventy eight. Well, see there you go. And you had just mentioned that the other day, like you were still waiting to get fifty people watching you, and you know, voila. So that's all you had to do was uh, mention it. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. How much did I need? Twenty five? I'm up to thirty five. <gasps> Ooh, and that's planes by them. I might want to stay back away from that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Every day I tell myself I'm not going to play Valheim today, and then I'm playing it. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's highly addictive.
I've played it almost every day since uh since I started playing it. It's a it's a really addictive game and uh will draw you in quite quickly. Man, at the next, my goodness. I won't need necktails for a month. I'm liking this area. So that's all stone. Let's get back to base. Whoo! But you did say in 2020, so if I only had taken five months off. <laughs> I know, right? That's on you, man. That's on you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, cool. Very nice. That's working. Cool. I like, oh, it's got some really good music, man. Like, really nice ambient. Like, right here, these raspberries. You pick these up as well. I don't have room for them, but you, you get what I, what I mean, though. You, you pick them up, and you'll uh, it'll unlock blueprints for you. And it's like when you go into the dark forest, there'll be uh, uh, blueberries instead of raspberries, and you can mix them up for some uh, queen's jam, I think with some honey, and it really uh, helps a uh, really good food item. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's cook up on. Well, let's not cook it. Let's put it over here and save it. Make tails, nice uh, raw meat right there. Let's see where to hide at. Oh, there's. Oh, that's nice. I got some more uh, leather scraps. Cool. Let's go ahead and eat something, get my health up. Alright, now, what we need to do is grab some wood. I know I'm over encumbered, but that won't last long because I'm getting ready to build something. All right, let's see. Buildings, roof tiles. Here we go. Let's put that to clip somewhere. Here we go. Eh, that'll work. Hmm. Ah, should be good. All right, so let's put down... Here. Right, crafting table. Let's bring this out here. Oh, yeah, well, let's do the uh, I need 20 and 5. Let's see if I got 20 somewhere stashed. I got 10. Gotta find more hogs. that all right let's put down the uh yeah because i'm gonna need to put that uh gonna need to put that uh hide tanner down first before i do much all right let's go pick on some hogs or war hogs but yeah it's got some really chill ambient music i do dig it What's up, Mary Lizzie? How you doing, dear? Holla.
Now, if I wouldn't have been looking for hogs, they'd be everywhere. There we go. Let's bring out the porcupine on him. Be really cruel and unusual. Alright, more hogs. Need 10 more leather scraps. Right there you go, blueberries. You pick those up. As a newer player, they'll give you a blueprint. Four. Hey, color, you gonna play this expeditions update? I mean, on your channel, hint, hint. So how's, how has everybody been? I haven't seen you guys in a, nearly a month. We definitely got to do some catching up. How's everybody doing? Cool. More resin. I think I've seen some hogs down here somewhere. Where are they all next? Deer. Yeah, if, if I wasn't looking for leather scraps, guys, they'd be like freaking hordes of uh, warthogs around here. You, you'd be stepping on them. This hurt. This person has a bit of far more than she can chew and is exhausted. Oh no. Or a bit off far more than she can chew. Oh man, KJ. Yeah. I feel your pain on that one. It's easy to do. This is why I play with the graphics turned down, or the grass turned down. There he is. What? That's boar trophy. Okay. All right, let's go spawn them some more else. Levi Rivers, how you doing, buddy? Well, at least you weren't buried in a woods somewhere. Yeah, I know, right, Dark Lord? Uh, I'm slight drunk on oh, no. Uh So I have a space starting to save. I hear you, Cola. Yes. I was, I was uh, thinking about that this week, or this week, um, after that update release, like, which save my which save am I gonna to delete to start a new one? <laughs> Slightly there was the proof. Nice. Let's see. Not too bad, sword doing some inventory management in the men's sky to stream late latest update later. Pain's it's bad. I'm just trying to make it through the straps. Oh man, brutal, dude. That sucks, Mary. I hope you get to feeling better, dear. Finished up Easter Mash for neighbor. Nice, nice. That's awesome of you. No, I'm not on the new computer yet. I am, uh. I got it all sitting back behind my green screen currently. But yeah, I'm. I'm taking, um. 
I'm taking vacation in two weeks. Or I got two more weeks of work and I'm on vacation. So it'll be, I guess, three weeks. Um, but when I go on vacation, I'm going to take it to the uh, same guy that built my last one. And um, have him go through go through all of it, put it all together for me. I mean, I got I got all the picked out and bought all the parts myself, and and have a oh man, they're killing hogs over there. At least they're killing them for me. But yeah, I've gotten all the parts myself. Oh, you throw a spear at me, fool! My goodness. Oh, no! Crap! I didn't realize how low my health was. I gotta run. Whoa. Good thing I killed the guy with the spear first. Got a 16 health, man. Whew. Get away from that guy. Where'd he go? So I'm pick him off with a bow. He laughing at me, guys. Ho ho ho! Laugh again. Sucker. I got no space for gold. I don't. What am I throwing out? Let's get rid of the Grayland eyes. I won't need them for a while. Cool, cool. Nice. Now, let's go over here and pick that black metal up. That is vastly, vastly more useful. I need to get my shield out. Cause this, this is the time the mosquito slides up behind you and zeroes you out. What else am I throwing out? Let's get rid of... Oh, there we go. Condense that wood down in the piles. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Crap. I'm definitely going to throw some stuff out now. Got that stack of lumber out. Or run out of stamina. Alright, let's see. What have we got that I can toss? I need 25 space. Let's do shift. Toss it. There we go. Whew. Wood's easily recovered. Feathers, nice. Let's go unload. Oh, nice, more feathers. Aim high. Go. Whoo, my goodness. Sword's gonna have sad music playing when he pops up on any of his saves with explorers. Uh oh, what happened? They changed. Oh no, they didn't. They nerfed the explorers. Same thing as the, uh, they did the same thing the uh, hollers has done. Oh my goodness. Is it going to be that bad? Yep. That does suck. Hello, boar. Yeah, leather. Yeah, I'm I'm probably going to jump into a save tomorrow and check it out. I'll let you find out for yourself. Oh no, it's that bad, dude. That sucks. All right, let's see. Same thing did the hollers. Oh man. That blows. That's alright. Gives me something to do. Go out looking for some more hollers. Let's see if I can get... Nice. Yeah, if any mobs are anywhere near my fence, it won't let you sleep. I just joined. Could you explain the game you're playing? This is Valheim, Levi Rivers. It's a PC game. Uh, early release. 
it's on Steam, I think, for like 20 bucks. Um, but it's kind of like you're in... It's, it's, it's a Viking game, okay? So you're a Viking. You start out in your skivvies with nothing. I think a torch, maybe. And you got to build and craft items. Um, and it's basically, to me, it's like Minecraft. Um, it's kind of low-key graphics. It's not... Uh, it's not insanely high graphical, uh, but it, it's it's to me it's really intriguing. I, I enjoy it uh, quite thoroughly. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it depends depends a lot on your taste, you know. There there are uh, definitely some uh, some fun times to be had in Valheim. Trying to sort out my inventory here. Let's go. Cool. Put that there. All right, cool. So I need to slap the berries in a chest somewhere. All meat, trophies. I need to build some more chests. That's what I need. So put that there. Put that there. Put that there. I need to keep up with that. resin will go here. Nope. Full resin there. Uh, go in there. Nope. That's what was all at. Okay, cool. Alright. Stick the resin in here. Uh, I think you maybe started out with a torch. It's for the bad sword. They did. They're going to have to have to undig because too many people are freaking out. Oh no, dude. See, and that's another thing I'm worried about uh, jumping into it. Because if they nerf the Explorers, like, I think when Next dropped, they nerfed all the Hollers. But, after I think about the third patch in the Next, they fixed it. So if you hadn't logged in and created a save with your existing save, it didn't nerf your, your Hollers. So, I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, it's called uh, Valheim, um, uh, Levi. It's like I said, it's a great game. Um, multiplayer is super fun. Like, I'll get on. Um, we actually have a server that me and about six other guys are on currently, and play pretty much daily. But man, some of the builds that these guys have done are insane. Um. Cope has built a massive castle up in the mountains, which is really cool. Um, Hyper's got a, a build, which is in an awesome location, kind of like this, where it's in the right at the edge of the plains, and uh, in the meadow, meadows in the plains. And man, he's put a lot of time and effort in the creative building on that. It is a he definitely, definitely showed me up on my build. And uh, <laughs> and then Crushed In Box is working on a pretty awesome build. Um, Punisher has uh, kind of been helping uh, uh, everybody get builds together and, and get resources for their builds. And he's a, uh, he's, he keeps, he's kind of like, um, I guess, um, sets up the spawn point over at Cope's place, but it's still, you know, that, that's kind of how this goes. Like you, you don't really have to have a massive castle to enjoy the game. You can just set a spawn bed at somebody's build, and and that'll be your uh, location to spawn at. Look, you there, going around killing the deer for me. What's up, Mozzie? Come get some. I'm chasing that deer into the plains or into the meadows. Where'd that mozzie go? This is why I like turning the graphics down because you can uh you can see them guys a lot better. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Oh, I knew he was coming up behind me. I knew that was going to happen. Little SOB. Sit still for a second. I'll fix your little winged tail. Come on. Bring it. Let's go ahead and eat because I am extremely close to the plains. Hopefully, I, I was hoping a lox would spawn in close by or I wouldn't have to go out looking so far. Hmm. Locks are fun. Them things are like massive y yaks. <laughs> uh, it's almost 6 p.m. I have to get to work. Or there will be any stuff on my channel tomorrow. It's a beautiful game. I don't have time for it at the moment. Maybe someday. Heck yeah, KJ. It was next. They changed both the hollers and the fighters. They're on 3.34. That's not getting. Oh no. Brutal. That sucks. Just thanks, Sean. Her, what you did to your explorer model. You had 3D print. I know. Dirty, man. It's just dirty. I heard a mosquito on your stream and turn around and see if you've been chased. I hear you, dude. Yeah, man. That's that's a. Yeah, I'm a hermit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, can't punish you. But yeah, everybody's got a pretty decent build on the server. Um, if you guys want to check them out, let me know in the chat. Um,. I can always jump in on the server and uh, take y'all around for a uh, world tour. I didn't want to get. I wanted to get more gathering than than the actual grindy part of this. This is probably gonna take. This build I got planned is probably gonna take a, a big portion of tomorrow morning uh, to knock down. But definitely don't mind. Uh, definitely don't mind jumping over and showing it off to you. Quite proud of Cla Castle Black. Kind of hoping I'd run across a troll. Those guys are always fun. Well, there's this cave. There's the barrel chamber. Skeleton running around out there. Let's save a little stamina just in case I run across him. space to carry anything uh no crud there's the blackbird i was telling you guys about it's kind of hope because they was in the uh in the dark forest biome that they would give more uh more resources but they still only give you three feathers now, let's see where that troll was at. You see how the, uh, off, like when you're looking off in the distance in the Black Forest, everything's kind of blue, or it's got like a blue haze to it? That, to me, is uh, really difficult to see trolls. Because I've actually looked right at a troll off in the distance and didn't realize he was there until he moved. But have a great night, KJ. All right, let's go in here. Let's go see if I got one inside the cave here. You'd think all the skeletons was uh, enough warning for me not to go in here, but you'd be wrong. See, I got nine arrows. Mm, I should be able to take him. All right, just slide up into the troll cave and boom. I didn't get a sneak shot on him on the first shot. Got him knocked, though. He's down. Like. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, HB? 
How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Oh man, <gasps> looky there. It gets me close. Let's see if that one's got. Some... Oh man, it's got deer hide. I was kind of hoping that thing had a uh, some more. Uh... Let's see if we can carry that stone. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of hoping that thing would have some more uh, uh, leather scraps. Good to see you, bud. Glad to have you, man. I gotta get this thing upgraded and make my uh, make my obsidian arrows, or I'm gonna be in a pickle and have to shoot stuff with wood arrows. And I don't want to do that. Generally, if you find the troll cave, there'll be one inside, and you can find one roaming around nearby outside. And that's how you rack up a lot of gold too, because some things drop between the inside the, between the inside of the cave and uh and the troll outside the cave. You can really uh pick up a bit of gold. Look at you with your arrow. All right, there's the coastline. Copper deposit, nice. Had to get him triggered. <laughs> start beating on his copper deposit. He'll start coming out of them woods. My very first encounter with a troll was a uh, was a uh, uh, mining tin deposit. How does this see so good? Um, because you got swamp biome right here, plains biome right here, mountains biome right here, dark forest all through here. Then you got the uh, plains boss, modder. Um, right in here, there's a swamp area that has a uh, bone mass. You got uh, Ichthyr here, and then there's a short little boat trip to the next island right along in here is the elder. So you got all, you got four of the five world bosses on the same island you've got every biome on the same island so yeah this this, this is a really awesome seed let's see do i got a picture of that let me see if i got a picture of that stash somewhere there it is right as i tab out here comes a grayling let me get the rest of my, let me get the last little bit of my leather. I need, uh, three more leather scraps. I need three more hogs. There's one. Nope, that's a deer. What? Yep, kill it. Thought that was a boar. It was standing still, wouldn't pay no attention. But yeah, um, let me get the rest of my leather. I'll go back some more secure and I'll pull the, uh, the entire world map up. This was posted up on the, uh, Valheim Wiki as a really good candidate for a speed run because of all the bosses and everything being here. But yeah, I'm setting up a base operations um, in the plains or in the meadows right outside of the plains with the mountains and the black forest on either side of me. So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to once this, uh, once this base, my forward operating base is built, then, uh, being able to get some really good, uh, really good harvesting done. That in just a short period of time, I've already found, uh, no more, no more exploring than I've done. I've already found uh, two queen bees. Um, the necks down here in this meadow are insane, dude. I was down here a little earlier in the stream, and it was like 12 of them down here. And looky there, birdie. Oh, man. He moved, and then the neck hit me. Kind of glad the neck hit me because I was getting ready to nerf that shot because he was going to take off right as I loosed. Hey, 
Heck yeah. So you play uh you play Valheim HV? Like I said, once I get this thing, once I get this uh, tanning, uh, hide tanner built, there'll be hogs all over this place. But it's like, you don't need leather scrap for very much after the early game stages. And it just stop piles. Like my, my server save, I probably got a half a chest of it. Should show off Castle Black. All right, well, let me get this thing uh, sorted out and pull up this world map and show everybody where all the bosses and stuff are at, and uh, I'll uh, kick over and uh, to my server save. All right, stay off that shift key a minute. Shooting at something. Oh, nice! A mosquito out here killing gray, gray doors. Get my shield back up where he finds me. Come get some mosquito. He's down. Grab that needle. Let's see if we can get some hogs to spawn in. Yeah, but I have a loading problem now. I can go into the game menu and my laptop freezes and I have to restart. Oh no. That sucks, man. Anybody in chat knows what might be causing that? I am a uh, Captain Pugwash to a task that I am horrible about troubleshooting issues. He was having a uh, massive issues with Discord last week, and uh, we finally got him sorted out, or he finally got it sorted out. But it was like four or five days of a uh, conflict between uh, his. Uh, Headphone software and uh, in the Discord, it was not a, uh, it was not pretty. Ooh. All right, where you at, hogs? They know I need like two leather scrap, and I'm done. They're all hiding from me. Get back down here. Maybe those three respawn back down at the meadows. I tell you, a good place to, uh, you may check, uh, HV. If you're over on Zane's Discord, 
He's got a tech channel and a lot of uh, PC enthusiasts over there that may be able to help you troubleshoot. Let's walk over to this build and see what they got. I'm back. Had to get something to eat and run to the Dollar Tree. Yes, I am cheap. Oh, dude, man. Let's say about, let's say at least 20% of our household consumables come from Dollar General, so don't feel cheap, bud. Cheap is good. It helps you buy PC parts. <laughs> Alright, so we've, uh, We've played with the graphics up high. Let's do this down. Now, now you can see about all the grass. Stuff's much easier to find through here. And looky there, rise I turned it down, boy. Cool, 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 man. Heck yeah. Yeah, that would be the place I'd go, man. Like, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, I would almost say very, very helpful to individuals in that tech chat. Very, very strong opinionated uh, on what the best hardware is, but somebody might, somebody might know what's uh, causing you, causing you a lockup issue. My goodness, I almost got a piece of that one star deer. I mean, you see how much easier it is to see around or see stuff on the ground with that vegetation turn because it pretty much kills the grass. This is how I normally play when I'm out doing a hunt, hunting gathering. It's not great for screenshots, but makes great great resource gathering. There's the boy. Hello. There we go. We're up to 10. Let's roll. Back to base. out of food myself. Bad thanks to the jump over to the server. I'm gonna grab the city and arrows out the chest. <laughs> We're working this whole time trying to craft some. Alright, let's grab that leather out of here. Nice. Oh cool. I had plenty as it was. Cool. Alright, let's see. Eight. I need flint. Let's grab some flint. There it is. All right, let's see. What am I putting over here to grab the flint? Let's see. That and that. Cool. Nice. I'm not encumbered. Sweet. Oh, I need a workbench. Thought I had a workbench built. Okay, we'll do that then. Cool. Just got to be in proximity of it, so it's a little bit fussy. There it is. You got a little bit of a ways you can phase this stuff in a lot of it's the angle that you're looking at it from but it is going to be a turd all the way through there we go oh what you got what you got close enough cool all right now that's been put in let's bust my crafting table down 
and put it right here. Cool, cool. Let's throw a little shelf up for my. Hmm. Hey, well, let's just throw it down here beside it. There we go. The reason I phase this in because there is a lot of upgrade parts to put on this thing. And if you don't get hard to get them all put together. All right, so we got those two upgrades. This is the next one. I need bronze and a forge. That needs that's forge upgrade, forge upgrade, forge upgrade, forge upgrade, forge upgrade. Let's see. We need forge for that one as well. Okay. Oh, nice. I got the uh, windmill and the uh, spinning wheel. Nice. Blast furnace. Okay. You know, I had the blueprints for blast furnace. Very nice. All right, I need an artist table. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, does he have any Discord? Yeah. Um, check any of his streams. His Discord links in in there below. Any others who can tell me Zane's Discord because I can't find it on Zane's YouTube channel. Give me a second, and I'll drop it in the uh, chat here. Let's see. And then bring it over here to. There you go, bud. <sighs> sorry, sorry. All right, someone tweeted that there are many buildings that have been data mined from NMS, and these buildings look as though they are skyscrapers. Really? Hmm. Cool, dude. Heck yeah. No problem, bud. Right, let's get back in game without building that. Cool. Alright, let's see. That put my crafting table up to level 3, didn't it? I think it did. It did! Nice. So, I need... Needle arrows. I need level 4. Cool. So, I just need wood and obsidian and feathers. Cool. Grab my feathers, cool. Sure, I got everything I need out of here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and dump some inventory. And I'm getting rain on. Go figure. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Now let's grab a whole shed load of wood. Woo. See, the arrow is nice. Uh, let's see, that was a full smurf by Peaceful Gamer. Oh, okay. <laughs> God love it, man. Been playing lurking like me. Heck yeah, true. Yeah, true lies that they said it, dude. I'm going to tell you what. I don't know if you guys that follow the Star Citizen stuff. Dude, they trolled hard on April Fool's Day. Like, three or four months ago. It's been a minute. It's been three or four or five months ago. Um, Star Citizen Leaks had some uh, some kind of inf uh, some kind of data mine information or leaked information on the. Um, so we need a little bit more wood on the uh, on a new Origin ship that was expected to come out and release. 
And everybody was like, oh yeah, because there's a lot of people that loves Origin ships. Um, just for the design language. They're they're pretty pretty cool looking ships. Um, Alright, cool. So let's stash the rest of these arrows. Uh, we don't need that one. That one or that one. So now we got our obsidian arrows. Let's drop the rest of our obsidian right here. Coat set. Let's go. Um, but they they were playing with the idea of a um, of a new origin ship and and release some uh, white box uh, designs for it. So they knew they had to hide for the new ship. Well, on April 1st, uh, on April Fool's Day, they released the Inside Star Citizen talking about the uh, Origin 404. And most of you guys are like tech or techie or, or any kind of like uh, um, software privy kind of caught the 404 right away. But if you're a noob like me, you didn't. But basically, it was an unrendered, invisible ship. And they done like a, shoot, 20-minute video talking about this new ship. And the only thing you could see when you got in that ship was your character sitting down like you was sitting in the cockpit. And you could see nothing else. You couldn't see the ship. And, uh, and, the, and the thrust uh, exhaust from, the, uh, from when the thrusters and stuff was working. It was, it was priceless. They done a great job screwing around with people on April Fool's. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me uh, switch scenes real quick, and we'll jump over to uh, jump over to the server. Let me grab my info. I got a lot of a uh, copy. Just getting logged into the server, guys. Bear with me a second. Cool. Right. Should be it. Take you guys on a tour of Castle Black. My my uh, OCD nightmare build. Let's zip on up the hill here and let you guys see it from a uh, from a distance. Oh, it's still rendering. Holy smokes! Yeah, we're down to 31 frames, guys. So I mean about the big builds on a server. <laughs> but you see all the doggone birds. That's what I was talking about. Grab some food. Mr. Sandman, dude, thank you for the $5 super chat, bud. Much appreciated. Guys, 07, Mr. Sandman in the chat. What an awesome character. All right, here we go, guys. This is Castle Black. Go ahead and grab me some feathers while I'm here. Heck yeah, dude. Thanks for the donation, buddy. But as you come through the, uh, through the gate here, you notice the, uh, deep trenches and the moat I had to dig around it to keep the trolls out. And you walk directly into the farm area or the turnip area. And then we got our carrots and our turnip seeds over here on this side. And I kind of embarrassed to show it to you because I haven't restocked the resin. Let's go ahead and do that while we're at it. It looks better lit up, guys. Let me grab some resin real quick. And uh, restock. Let's see. I need to grab some wood for the fireplaces as well. I haven't been here in a couple, couple days. button okay right let's see we're gonna need 60 to top off these fireplaces all right let's get our resin stocked up all 
Yeah, I found out real quick. Um, building large castles is very cost inefficient because each one of these reinforced beams takes a piece of iron and I used a shed load of iron on this build like insane amounts all right we're getting the sconces re recharged But on each corner of the uh, castle wall, we have a little uh, lookout. It's got some good uh, good arrow shots in case we get attacked by uh, trolls or goblins or drakes or what have you. What is up, Mike Young? How you doing, bud? Takes a long time to mine all that stone. Uh, I actually got pretty lucky. Um, Hyperion had a um, what was it? It was a stone golem that we that we faced earlier. He had a stone golem chasing him around the mountain, and he he kited that stone golem around the mountain <laughs> and had it bust up stone for him. And he, he he ended up. Uh, I think they dropped me like twenty six or twenty eight boxes of a uh, stone off at the build. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, let's see. Top off the fireplace. Top off the other two. I think I figured it up. It was a, it was a little bit better, and it's almost seventy uh, resin to fuel up all the sconces. Ah, I'm out of resin. I'm three hours played, still only killed the first boss. I'm don't be in a rush with it, because I'm gonna tell you, when not not to spoil it for you, but once you kill the boss, the creatures from the next biome or the next boss's biome. Will raid your uh, will raid your camp or your build. And you can get a, you can have some pretty interesting times trying to build or trying to get your build together when uh, <laughs> when uh, you're getting attacked by drakes. <laughs> yeah, man, that was just that was hilarious. That stone golem. All right, so let's see. This is my storage area. This is the vault area, guys, where I got a little bit of everything. Got a chest for a little bit of everything. And then we go over here to this side, and I've not quite finished it off, but I got quite a bit of stuff over here. All my arrows. And then we go out back here. As you seen earlier, when we was uh, re recharging sconces, we have our uh, forge here. Basically, um, your your mineable items or your metals come in stacks of thirty, and each one of these uh, furnaces or smelters can smelt ten. Or you can put you can load it up with ten of the ore at a time. So that's why I got three of them in here, so you can actually run all your uh, ores. Let me go ahead and repair all my tools. And then I got all my ores hanging out out here next to the forge and the uh, smelter. Whoa, there's Tragos. What's up, buddy? Then I got my two uh, my two charcoal kilns. Let me go ahead and grab some charcoal. Let's go ahead and load this up. that making some charcoal then as we got down here basically I built this because we started collecting a uh, lox meat out in the plains and lox meat I don't know if you guys have gotten to that stage yet but lox meat takes like three or four ah look at him hit and run 
What a punk. <laughs> <laughs> but basically locks meat takes so long to cook that um it's i got this set up where you can do 20 of them at a time <laughs> so you ain't gotta wait as long oh don't break my building <laughs> lock him out <laughs> But here's my living area, guys. I got my wolf bed, my wolf rug, my lox rug, my deer rugs. Got all my boss trophies of the bosses we defeated, except for the troll. I just got him hanging up there taking a... He's a placeholder for the uh, dragon. Um, got my old trusty uh, iron sword and iron shield. Six trolls showed up at once. Oh, no! At a furling raid party half destroyed one of my lumber camps oh no brutal dude all right so this is castle black fellers and we still got the dock to show off i think i got my boat took up if i set out a little patio for everybody to come chill with and then my massive amount of beehives <laughs> this is the boat dock guys i think i put all of this put all the stuff up for this one uh because basically i dug out this trench and this might be for you future builders or whatnot um if you dig out a moat or a ship dock do keep in mind when you log into the server that ground spawns at its um at its original uh height and depth and this was actually land where i started out at so my boat was up on land getting beat and banged up and a lot of times it would roll to one side or the other or twist one way or the other and then once uh once you got ready to go somewhere the boat would be uh, glitched into these walls and stuff so gone to the bathroom right before my key came back two broken beds broken campfire oh no brutal dear there's hyperion Man, racking up on all them. <laughs> Very nice. All right. But this is the Castle Black, guys. We set her up here. And she's not very far. A uh, short distance from the... Uh, a short run up the hill to the... Uh, to the mountain biome. I got black for... <laughs> I keep closing the tray goes out. All right. So now... I have the farm, which me and this project, me and the uh, me and uh, Captain Pugwash has been working on. Um, Pugwash's build, I think this portal takes you out to the spawn point, and then we got the portal hub. So let's go check out the portal hub, guys. And if you guys' builds are, if you want me to show off you guys' builds in the chat, if you guys are in the chat, like Trey Ghost or Hyper, just let me know in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll zip us on over there and let you and uh, show it off. So let's see, we're going to go to... Alright, let's go to Tragos. I think he's uh, signaling. I hadn't seen Tragos' build in a while, so it'd be cool to... Oh, nice! Okay, very nice. There's a little forge area here. Nice, nice. I like this build, bud. Done his raised roof there. Very nice. Not bad at all, son. I like this. That's that's pretty clean build right there. I'm 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 impressed. I'm gonna come steal some ideas from him now. Oh, very nice. Heck yeah, dude. Oh my god, the time he spent on this. My goodness. I'm going upstairs. My goodness. 
Yeah, he's been busy, guys. I like your build, dude. I like the uh, the blending of uh, your stone and your wood stuff. Very cool. Go downstairs, see what he's got down here. Holy smokes, dude. <gasps> oh, man, he's got a brewery down here. Crap. Very nice, dude. Very nice. He's, ma he's making his own lager, guys. <laughs> this is a pretty sick build, dude. Yeah, we're going to miss poor Tragos here soon. He's got a... He's going on a detachment overseas. And, uh, man. I don't know how much we get to play with him when he's gone, but. Nice. I like how you did the mead table. Very nice. <laughs> but basically, to do this, you put the, uh, um, horizontal, uh, item stands on top of this, uh, table. And then put your uh, food items on it. Very nice, dude. I like this. <laughs> and then, what's he got back here? A garden, and looks like maybe a hole pin. Yep. Cool, cool. Freaking sweet, dude. Uh oh. He's killing boars. Is that everything, uh, Tragos, or you got any more out here? Love the view, man. Very nice view. Cool, cool, man. Building a lighthouse next. Yeah, I seen that build over on the corner. I like it. Tragos uh, had the idea of uh, putting a uh, uh, bonfire. Hang on one second, guys. Yeah, I had to mute out. I had Mrs. Sword called, so I uh, I didn't want y'all guys to hear me talking trash to her. Very nice, Tragos. It's gonna be sick, man. Basically, Tragos is gonna build him a big old lighthouse with a uh, bonfire in it to light the way to all the wayward Vikings that may come in from the coast. All right, let's move it on along. Let's see, Hyper or Eshmerel. Anybody, you guys in the chat? And if so, do you want me to go show off your builds or do you want me to wait? I don't know how far away y'all are with me. Back to the hub. 
They eat you, Truth Piquet. Yeah, they do. I want a pet. I want a pet Drake. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go check out Winterfell. All right, guys. Hope you're not afraid of dogs. Freaking uh, Coat and Punisher have uh, bred like every. Oh no! What? Coat. He locked me out, guys. He's got his ward up. Party foul. You guys don't get to see Winterfell tonight. Let's see if he's on. So we got Hyper and Trago on. You hear all them wolves in the background? <laughs> They've They've bred probably 25 or 30 wolves in in uh in Winterfell. Yeah, he locked it up. Dirty dog. Yep, yep. Let's see who we got. Can put wash. Doors locked for we I see, man. I see. Dirty, dirty, man. Thought we was friends. Here we go. Now this is at the, uh, at the altar spawn area. I believe it's, yeah, it's where you first spawn in. Captain Booty, my nice little, uh, get up here. Nice little setup here at the beginning area for anybody wants anybody that joins in on the server. That way they have a little access to a to some security and a place to set a spawn bed or or whatnot to uh to get them situated. And it's got a link to the portal hub here. So let's go back to the portal hub. Hayden Aceto Sword. Hope it's going well, buddy, man. Living it up, man. My small and only half done, but you can show. Cool. Let's see. Ish Morel, where you at? Punisher's going to open it. Okay. Cool, you got a lot done since the last time I was out here, Ish. Looks good, bud. Nice little view of the coast. There's Punisher logging on. Very nice. It's not bad. Comfort level 10 right here. With just a modest accommo modest accommodations. I like it. There we go. Some beehives going. Man, yeah. Plenty of bees. Yeah. He... <laughs> Ish... Ish on his his uh first couple uh first couple days on server guys uh got attacked by the troll um uh, the ground is shaking troll swarm so Ish pretty much got his uh trench or had Punisher come out and helped him dig his trench <laughs> then he started putting up uh <coughs> he made it heavily defended <laughs> fairly quickly after that. Because of the uh, wicked, wicked trolls that uh, come for him. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Now, let's find this portal. Oh, check out the drawbridge. Cool, 
Cool. So he's got he's got a triple gate going on. He does not want anything getting inside his uh inside his build. Very, very nice, dude. Very nice. Let's see. You can finish out your roof here, bud. Did I bring any wood with me? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's the one thing about this game, guys. Like, if you build with wood and leave it exposed to the elements, it'll deteriorate, which is not horrible because all you got to do is pull up your, um, your repair tool and just repair it. I think it'll go down to 50% health, but what happens is it won't completely deteriorate, like, and cave in and whatnot. But what happens is once it deteriorates um, and it goes to half health, when something comes to attack it, it has an easier time destroying it. Cool, cool. Very nice. Big blue wearing grass skirts. Don't want to cut their butts. No, it doesn't. Are the trolls beefy or big in this game? What kind of trolls are we talking about? Oh, man. Trolls are... At, after you get to a certain level of development, they're not a challenge. They're really not. But early game, they are really, really unfortunate to deal with. Carrying old trees says goodbye to your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they'll actually, uh, they'll wear you out with a tree. Let's see. Let's run up to Winterfell since Punisher came in to unlock it for us. And then, if I don't hear anything from Hyper, oh, nice. You hear all them wolves, don't you? They are wolves everywhere in this castle, guys. Like, literally everywhere. I'm trying to see how... All right, guys, let's get a count. Let's get a count. When we get, when we get in here, I don't want everybody to count how many... Uh, how many wolves we run across? So there's one at the portal. Oop. <laughs> All right, so we got one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven so far. Now they're gonna be moving, so they're gonna be hard to count. There's eight. Let's see, here we go. <laughs> Punisher's getting everything lit up for us. Nine. Ah! Learn to use ladder. We counted that one. I think that was one around the portal. He's got the ward zone. <laughs> we came up that way. It's a Harry Potter troll in a Hogwarts bathroom. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Lead the way, Punisher. There's, there's what, one, two, three, four more. <laughs> there you are, wolves everywhere, boys and girls. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got three of them in the bedroom. 
They are definitely doing the uh, the uh, Stark Direwolf theme with the Winterfell. Holy smokes, three more. Good grief. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Is the ward working for the port of Punisher? Or not, I mean, the portal? Zane's world, trolling the dungeon. Deep north. <laughs> nice. Check out this fragging boat dock, guys. Like, Cope disappeared for like four days. And we was wondering what happened to him. This is what this joker was working on, man. Winterfell is up there somewhere. <laughs> he started the staircase. I think he realized how much work it was going to be. What's up, Zane's World? How you doing, buddy? All right, so I'm going to zip back. Let's see, close the door. Very nice. Very, very nice, dude. The amount of wood it takes to light all this up. <laughs> Alright. Did I did I get everything uh did I get everything Punisher? Or is there any places on Castle or in uh, Winterfell I missed? Look at all the freaking wolves, man. I'm telling you, dude, if you're scared of dogs. Log cabin? Okay. What is up, dude? Take the log cabin portal? Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Cool, cool. Okay, this is one I've been to. Cool, cool. This one's right off the coast outside the Black Forest. Nice job on the wall. Heck yeah. Yeah, I remember when this was one of his first uh, little excursions. That used to... Oh, troll! Nice! This is a troll, guys. He's down. That's what I mean about late game, they're not that threatening. Early game, they are they will wreck you real quick. Very nice. Or did y'all guys know that was there and sent me so I could see one. <laughs> just chilled out some crit farming, just fell short of my goal of filling longbow. Oh my god, Zane. Feel sorry for anything having to deal with the wolves. I know, dude. But I believe this goes into swamp. I think. Cool, cool. But yeah, this used to be this used to be pine trees all along this hill, guys. We came out here one night and just uh, like clear cut the entire ridge. Swamp biome, or is that a mist? That is mist. Okay. Now, this biome is going to be freaky scary when uh, they add the content for it. Because <laughs> the, the, mob, the mobs going in that area is not going to be pleasant. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, 
Oh, nice. <gasps> Planes. Oh, cool, cool, man. Nice. We do jump in. Oh, crap. Switch up. I'll let you grab black metal. I won't be able to travel with it. Cool, cool. Very nice. You got a door to this thing, or is it a portal in and portal out? I couldn't remember. Let's start saving stamina. Oh, cool. Skeleton surprise. Let's go. Watch out, Punisher. Check this out, guys. Oh, man, that's weak sauce. I thought that at least zero them out. Maybe because it's glitchy. Not back front though. All right, switching up the sword. Fair goblin. Get the goblins in the uh, goblins and the skeletons fighting each other. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Watch it, punish. There's like four goblins over there. Nice. Look at all this barley. Cool. Simply still requires the stream brought to us by the new toy in the sword household. No, not yet. Not yet. All right. Let's see. How do I get back to right here? Let's see. And I think I go through here. And I go back this way. Look at all these fragged wolves. Holy cow. I lost count at 12. Get out the way, wolf. Run out of stamina trying to get around that stupid wolf. Let's see. Is that it? Cool. Nice. Alright, let's go check out Hyper's build. 
77 runs, pretty darn awesome. Heck yeah, man. No, uh, funny. I'm I'm on vacation in two weeks, and I'll be uh, I'm gonna be getting uh, uh, the fellow that built my last one to build the new one. I did get my motherboard in today. Ah. Check her out. Ugh. This thing is sick, sick. I didn't realize. Let me get out of these guys' way. <laughs> I didn't realize um, how much the um, the gold lettering was going to show up. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it with the uh, the steel inside the uh, static bag. <sighs> But yeah, all those M.2 slots have got a a gold gold leather lettering, and it. it's got the uh, the little gold uh, MSI dragon icon on the uh, cool or motherboard cooler. Oh yeah, man. What's up, peaceful gamer? How you doing, bud? But yes, yeah, the um, uh, MSI Meg. Um, X570 Ace motherboard. It's got uh, two Gen 3 or Gen 4 M.2s and a Gen 3 M.2 slot. Oh, nice. Dude, he's been busy. I like your little portal tower. That's pretty sick. Dude, Hyper. My God, man. I like the detail. Does it have electrolytes? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Uh, you want to take this on yourself? I'm the physical hardware. I got no problem with. I, I think I think I'd be all right with the physical hardware. Now this village right up here, guys. This is a Droger village. It has Droger spawners in it, so he's got like infinite amounts of a. Uh, of a, uh, what do you call it, um, intestines, if he needs them. I like the boat dock, dude. Freaking A. It's a shame that it's freaking dark, man. Let's see, who all's on the server? We got you and Punisher. Man, that is sick, dude. Look at how he done the steps coming into the boat dock. My God. That is freaking epic right there, dude. What's up, Forsaken Fears? Welcome to it, bud. Good to see you, peaceful gamer. Glad to see you. Cyber Simmer. Heck yeah, bud. My name is Sky. Just crashed on Xbox. Will the notice say it needs a new update? Uh oh. Man, I'm tempted to wait around the daylight to see this one. Dude. Freaking sweet, man. He, he's he got freaking... I think he's going to have to call this one King's Landing since he's got the freaking Iron Throne here. It's the Red Keep. We've been going, we've been going with uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Look at all those green freaking banners, man. You tell you tell what Hyper's favorite color is. <laughs> Alright, man. Take us around for the tour. Oh, very nice, dude. I like how you did these beehives. That's pretty sick. Four of them grouped together like that. It's still a work in progress, though, guys. Keep it in mind. He He's still got, like, 80 more hours on this thing. <laughs> he's been building on this thing since, uh, good grief. Uh, probably about the time I got finished with uh, Castle Black. That about right, Hopper? Good God, dude. 
a freaking sick build, dude. <laughs> cool, cool. I like it. Yeah, Hyper's done an excellent job on this build. Very nice, dude. And the location for this is sick, guys, because he's got... He's in the meadows. Oh, cool. He's in the meadows, but if you go past the Droger Village behind us, or behind the build here, over the hill, you're in the plains biome. So he's he's sitting right at the cusp of meadows and uh the morning sun soon, yeah. <laughs> Super chat fee <laughs> says pays entry fee for the base tour. Heck yeah man. Dude, thank you for the Streamlabs donation, man. Guys, 07 at Esmerel for the five spot, guys. Yeah, Hyper built this. For the explicit reason for when the sun comes through, the god rays comes through this little, uh, see them? How the god rays come through the, uh, structure. Check this out, guys. It's like his throne glows. Definitely worth waiting around to see the, uh, sun come up on this build. He worked on this right he worked on this one area right here, I know a day, trying to get it just perfect to where when the sun come up, it just illuminated this whole room with God rays. Very, very nice dude. Heck yeah. Find a good angle on this thing, there it is. That's a lot of, lot of effort. What's up, Captain Pugwash? How you doing, bud? Good seeing you, friend. Very, 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 very sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. All right, Hyper, you got any more features you need? You want to show off? Oh, uh, let's see. just start, out. dude. Just the harbor looks great, man. I like the harbor, dude. Check out this harbor, guys. Good God at the stone. Crazy thing is I'm still getting like 50 frames a minute, so this is pretty nice. <laughs> He's got little carved slips. I like it. Heck yeah, guys. 07 Hyper for an amazing build. This is sick, dude. Minimal train edits. Frames good. Oh, minimal train edits, yeah.
But yeah, like I was saying, if you go past, just past the, uh, the little, uh, Droger village, it goes right into the plains biome. Great, great. Best spot I've seen on this server for, um, locks meat. Because he's got, like, three locks that spawn just down the hill. See him? And you get up here on this rock and just wail on them with arrows. Try to stay away from the village so I don't aggro none of his drogers. There's two more locks over that on the, over the hill there. All right, let's get my shield up. Just in case there's some, uh, let's grab some food just in case I run across some mozzies. Right on time. Oh, man, I put my shield down. That's why. Come here, buddy. Come here. I got something to say to you. Come here. Come here. Whoa. Oh, crap. I got three mozzies on me. Let's get away from them and take them on at the same time. Keep that one from behind me. One down. Oh, yeah. There he is. Them mosquitoes are nothing to mess with. Have you tried parry tanking the locks? You definitely could with your gear. I have not. Let's go, uh, let's find one to aggro. See if I can aggro him, get him to come up here. Nope, I see a goblin down there. This ain't close enough. Missed. Oop, I'm gonna shoot sh short. Bring it, Furling. Yeah. I'm hitting him. Just ain't aggroing him. Curious how low his health is. That pissed him off. Got him. Missed him. Oh, he's half health, half health already. Alright, let's see if we can parry him. Not without a shield up. Okay. One more time. Nope. Get the timing down on that parry. meat and hides. Let's go aggro the other one. Let's see. Desquito. Let's see if we can clear him. Nope. Yes. Ah, oh, he moved. What a... There you go. Cool. Clean arrows. Oh. Let's miss the sword. Let me get out of the biome real quick. Let the wife in before I get zeroed out. <sighs> I 
trick is not to die doing this. It's dying in a region or dying in an area where you can go back and get your stuff quicker. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, dude, man, Hyper done great job. That's what you call a sniper rifle right there, buddy. Come get some. Save some stamina for the jump. Shake no skeeters. Top of the hill, buddy. I think I gotta run down and get your stuff, and you're gonna fall to the bottom of the hill anyway. Be some lox meat pies in the future. But basically, the goblins or furlins will drop black metal, and you gather it up and make a lot of your. Uh, <laughs> Freaking new. I seen a skeeter somewhere around here. That was a bird. Alright, so now my health's back up. Let's see if I can parry this guy. Try the uh, porcupine. Lock. Cool, cool. Fourteen lots, me. What you was aiming at? That needle for you. All right, now let's get up on my safety of my rock. As soon as my stamina builds back up. Pick out the straggler. Ah, he turned. Way on over there. I don't want the word he's aggroed. He's mad. <laughs> got him in the butt. <laughs> Something's got him riled up up there. And one of you guys is it? Gotta be low by now. Oh, 
Very short. Got him. I like it when they get stuck on something. Makes easy pickings. Run our arrows. <laughs> There we go. We got one coming this way finally. Switch directions on me. And goblins to the left, boys. Get a locks trophy, nice. weird despawn more lock trophies cool cool where'd y'all go there you go Very nice. All right, let's see. We ended up with 28 locks meat. Nice. Anybody, any guys need a trophy? All right, boys, I'm going to head back to Castle Black. Don't forget to grab your black metal over here, boys. But yeah, this is a uh, the server. Let's see, we got one more quick build to go knock out or check out uh, the farm me and uh, me and Captain's been working on, and then we're probably gonna call it a night because I've been at it about three and a half hours. What's that? Nope. Now. See, where is the portal out here? That's a better question. And where the portal's falling at. Ooh. Okay, what's the note about? I like to elaborate. What is up, Cobra? How you doing, bud? Good to see you, buddy. Portal out here. Somewhere near here, because I think I come out. I come out right here to dock somewhere. Maybe over here. Very weird. And in the water I go. Yeah, this water far ground. Okay. Good stuff. There we go. Got me some steps. Where's the portal at, Hopper? <laughs> Following you. Oh, die! Thank you. 
I realized it right as I turned to seeing that big old building or that tower you're building for the portal. Nice, dude. Thank you. Loving it, man. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Let's see. Let's go to. Castle Black. Reload and restock on some arrows. I can't believe I went through a hundred arrows. <laughs> it's, a, it's a server. Alright, let's see. Let's go cook my lox meat real quick. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, this lock meat, locks meat takes forever. They get and serpent meat take a long time to cook. Almost triple time it takes to cook regular meat. But you definitely don't want to leave it on the cooker or on the fire too long because it'll turn to charcoal. Somewhere, there it went. Ah, more fire. Okay, now we got 20. Even that new update for the Xbox, I still can't claim my drop gift from Twitch. Oh no, brutal. More than more than one. Sorry, two is difficult to melee, one is very manageable though. Get more than two at once, so you don't try pairing. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed your comments, man. Uh, let's see, you try pairing a lot. It's cool, cool. Yeah, the parry, the parry's a, a good mechanic. I really, I, I enjoy the parrying, but you gotta be, uh, am I full up? I am. What have I got in here that I can move? Grab that one stone. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's go. Uh, make a couple lox meat pies. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of some stuff. Let's see leather. Where's the lox hide at? Hmm. how wolf hide. Oh. No. Thought I had locks hide. Chest. That sucks. Bad thing is I'll probably see it as soon as I stash this somewhere. Just throw it in with the locks meat for a moment. Toss the troll leather in. Troll hide. You can tell I've been busy killing trolls. <laughs> Let's see. Bone fragments. And skeleton. Let's see. Resin. For that. Let's see. Got six feathers. Let's see what we got here. Cold. 
do it in trophies. Not like this four. Drop the needles over here. Cool, cool. And now, let's load up some cloud berries. Let's load up on the flower. So I got this in. I thought I had flower somewhere else. on this chest. Cool. Hi! I'm streaming. I didn't know if you wanted to come say hi to everybody. If you, you done got comfortable, I didn't know if you wanted to hop uh, on front of the camera. Mom. She brought me a McFrappe. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can have it. Oh, okay. Appreciate you. <laughs> See how she looks out for me, guys? Sorry for later prime. Lurking while sorting food. Gotcha. Let's sort some food here on game. He's passed out maybe a few. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ended up with a uh, restocking my uh, bar and oh yeah, I'm up here. Let's put that in raid tubes. And then ended up with uh, seven extra. There they are. I knew I had some more flower somewhere. Hashtag miss a sword. What in the man sky links to outdated views. Uh not tonight. Um Definitely would be doing some this weekend. Let's see turn the studio okay, game more. Nope. Alright, cool, cool. All right, so let's go out to the farm, check out that build, and we're going to wrap her up for the night, guys. Uh, too many more streams for alcohol in between, but Monday night, however. <laughs> nice, saint. Heck, yeah. Holy smokes. Get all that linen thread. But yeah, we found us a little spot that's uh, got black forest somewhere back here. And then we got a, a Droger village dead ahead. It's like five buildings and five or six spawners. And then we got the plains by them down to the bottom of the hill. And then wraps around. Let's see. You can see all the plains here. And we got black forest back up in here. Going that way. Try this way. Oops. You can tell I got a little bit crazy with the storage. <laughs> uh, you can't see it on stream, so again. Let's see. Our... 
craft a torch. Do I have the resources for it? Oop, I put all my resin up. Seize on server. Hyper and crush, cool. Oh, this is now turning daytime. Sweet. We have this, and then up the hill from here, we've already started a small little farm. Ooh, falling off the building. I don't want to walk through all that and pick all that up by accident. Let's see, where is it at? Oh, it's from Oz. Oh, cool, there's the Hopper's Boot. Nice. Surmise it's right there somewhere, so we're gonna take a little jaunt through the meadows. But yeah, I definitely plan on diving into some of those uh that new uh that new game mode for No Man's Sky, but uh that may be Sunday night. Depends on what's going on with the PTU. Here it is. Depends on what's going on with the PTU over in a uh, uh, Star Citizen. A long, long desired C2 Hercules is uh, looming on an update, and I'm waiting on uh, I'm waiting on them to. Uh, it's gonna be like a little turnip garden right here, cause it's in the meadows. And Captain's got him a little build right here. Then we got our uh, flax and the uh, barley garden up there. And it's got like a goblin village on the other side of it. It's pretty sick. No door. <laughs> Swish a doodle good. <laughs> I like it. Heck yeah. Alright. It's like right as you get up to the garden, it transitions into the plains. Nice. We got locks right here. Go ahead and take out that Desquito. Maybe. Oh. In the face. you go locks be careful make sure I don't know if there's anything spawned in in that uh, village or not he bust up some rock for us oh crap I just looked at my food Let's get my butt back across. <laughs> Sucker. Now nah, you messed up. You go ahead and eat before you get some bite of me. It's always nice to have a trench. Oh, run, where are you going? Oh, 
Oh man, I've seen his insides. <laughs> nice, I got five locks meat off of that one. Two hides, sweet. Cool, cool. And that's the builds, guys. I think Crush is still working on his, but once he gets it done, I'm sure we'll be back on the uh, back on the save to show it off a bit. See where this brings us out to. Cool. And back to Castle Black. Nice, nice. Alright, Zane. Have a good night, bud. Sleep well, my friend. Back to my throat. Alright, guys. Heck yeah, guys! It's been a great stream. I'm glad to I'm glad y'all, all you guys, come along, man. I, I, like I said, I've been definitely been missing everybody. <clears throat> it's been a nice little break. Um, got a little bit of time to rest and relax and just enjoy being a gamer and not a streamer for a few weeks. And uh, definitely, uh, it's been good, good for me. Um, I know, uh, like I said, I've definitely missed you guys in the chat quite a bit and uh, look forward to seeing you in more streams. Hopefully, I'm going to get back to a regular schedule uh, moving forward. I know probably going to be a little sketch leading up until my vacation, but after the vacation, I plan on uh, really going at it a lot harder than I have been and uh, putting a lot more uh, stream hours in. But definitely, definitely, guys, had a great night. Um, if soon as it depends on if they release the uh, c2 uh they're probably gonna be another um uh probably gonna be a star citizen stream tomorrow if the c2's in the ptu uh if it's pushed back or it's releasing on a later patch or something then i'll probably uh be doing some no man's sky tomorrow night if not it'll be sunday after zane stream but i do plan on streaming uh streaming some no man's sky this weekend so guys thank you all for coming out Thank you for all the freaking super chat donations tonight, guys. Storm Norman, thank you for uh, re-upping your channel membership. Smurf for the $20 super chat. Storm for the $20 super chat. Games Lord for the $10 super chat. Esh Morel for the $20 in donations tonight. And Mr. Sandman for the $5 super chat. Guys, all you cats on this channel member list, guys, Thank you so much for what you do. Y'all... Y'all make... Some of the stuff that I need and do and have for this uh, channel. Um, Y'all definitely uh, bridge the gap and uh, make a lot of stuff happen for me. And uh, through y'all's financial support. And I want to give you a huge shout out and thank you for what you do. Guys, you have a very very awesome night and i hope to see you all again tomorrow night